Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be October's collected plant haul. Um, <laughs> I have a lot to show you guys to so get your tea ready. Um, it just happened that I was looking for spooky plants for Halloween special. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. The link is in the description bar. I hope you like it. Um, also, I want to say thank you for your great feedback on that video. I put a lot of effort into filming it. My husband and I were filming outside that night. It was freezing cold. But it's okay guys. It's totally worth it. Um, my husband actually helped me to make that Halloween video happen. Uh, the basic concept was mine, but the scripts and ideas were all his. Um, I told him I want to make a Halloween plant video, but something different. Um, because he is an author, his imagination is better than mine. Um, so yeah, we ended up doing uh, Samantha's Halloween uh, no, Samantha's houseplants. No, what do you call it? We ended up doing uh, Samantha's favorite houseplants. Um, originally, I was going to call it a uh, Samara from the ring, but I changed it in the last minute just in case there were any copyright violations. But you all got it, guys. So, anyway, if you want to check out my husband's novels, I will link it in the description bar. I will also list my favorite books that he wrote. You're gonna love them, guys. Trust me. Uh, I read them in one day because they were so good. I couldn't put them down. And uh, yeah, so I finished them in one go. You will never be disappointed. And I'm totally not biased. <laughs> so yeah, this introduction is so long, guys. I'm so sorry. But before we hop into this video, I want to thank every one of you who subscribed to my channel and keep watching my videos. I really really appreciate that guys from the bottom of my heart and i think we are slowly growing so i'm very thankful for all your support so if you haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it really means a lot to me so yeah i think that's it so get your tea ready guys and let's get into this video First, meet my new Calatia picturata. This plant was a wedding anniversary gift from my lovely husband. There's a story behind this plant. Uh, in the last week of September, when I bought my Calatia Alberti eye, I saw this plant first. It was on its own, the same as my Alberti eye. However, the Alberti eye grabbed my attention the most, so I bought it. So, on our anniversary, my husband told me he was going to buy me flowers, and I refused. I told him they were not going to last, so buy me plants instead it will make me happy so he came home and got me this he actually saw me admiring this plant and it was still there so he bought it isn't he sweet guys he's very observant i was so happy <laughs> um anyway as you can see there's damages on the leaves it was one of the reasons why i didn't buy this plant in the first place so when Javi bought this it was on sale from 10 pounds down to 7 pounds which is uh reasonable for its condition so yeah this is my beautiful picturata it is doing very well despite its condition however i'm not gonna lie i snip off some baby leaves as they turn yellow to brown as you can see there's one leaf turning yellow i'm not really sure what's going on so i am keeping eye on this plant um, apart from that this plant is happy enough there's one leaf about to unfurl and few baby shoots have came in I didn't cut the damaged leaves and don't plan to either. I'm just going to leave them. Uh, they seem happy enough, so it's fine. It's one month old now, and I featured this in my Calatia plant care. Um, I will link it in my description bar, guys, so you can check out how I look after my Calatias. Also, check out my prayer plant collection. I will leave them all in my description bar. Anyway, isn't this plant pretty, guys? Look at the foliage. It speaks for itself. Picturata. Very potent. Get it? Get it? <laughs> okay, next is a Peperomia Altisifolia that I got at the same time as my Calatia Picturata because it was on sale and have you like the foliage. It was reduced from five pounds to three seventy-five. Um, it's also a perfect plant as I collect peperomia plants too. I might do a video showing you my peperomia collection, guys. So don't be frightened to leave a message if you want to see that. Um, anyway, I repotted this into my beautiful pink plant pot with matching saucers. So pretty. 
Um, this plant is quite a fast grower. I wish I had a photo to show you guys, but I forgot to take one when it was just bought. Um, this is sitting on my coffee table in my living room and it is receiving medium light and it's doing very well. So pretty. All my bathroom, you guys are loving the north facing windows. They thrive, no fuss at all. Trust me. Okay guys, I have a confession. This plant is my regretted plant. I bought it for the sake of Halloween and I didn't realize that an alocasia requires high humidity. I bought this for 16 pounds and there was two plants in one pot. It's big and bushy. At first, I was very happy. However, before we got home, we were running errands. Uh, one baby leaf had dropped off. The stem was bent. I thought it was something to do with the troubling. Had I bumped into something? I was very worried because for me it is an expensive plant but I put this plant in our living room in my windowsill so it will receive decent sunlight plus the humidity in my living room is pretty fair I think well guess what <laughs> next morning I found another stem bent and drooping the stem was like melted so I panicked and checked Pinterest for alocasia polycare tips uh, it needs a lot of sunlight and requires high humidity so I moved this to our spare room that has a south facing window and grabbed my old humidifier and had it running for 24-7 um, it was happy however I had to stop my humidifier as my spare room was getting stuffy um, after a few days the dilemma had begun the same problem as before a few stems had melted so i lost a few baby leaves again then i moved this plant again and this time to our bedroom with a south facing window but it was a mistake it got worse this time i investigated the soil and the root system i found out it was suffering from root rot i hadn't repotted this plant since i bought it so i completely changed the soil and split the plants as there were two plants in one pot so here they are guys it's been a week now since i repotted this and so far they have both settled as you can see this one has a few stems that are slightly bent uh, they were about to droop and die but i caught it in time uh, they are still hanging there i didn't water these plants after i repotted them i bottom watered them after two days just a little water and that was it no humidifier just sitting in front of my south facing window though and hoping for no more drama for these guys really stressed me out that's why i regret buying this oh i'm sorry but yeah what do you think of this plant guys leave me a comment below if you have any care tips much appreciated okay this one i got it from etsy it arrived in great condition and was well rubbed uh, this was featured in my halloween video and it was the reason i bought this because of the color it's red perfect for halloween it is a rare succulent and i bought it for 15 pounds i know i just want it so badly and it fell in love with its color so i purchased it uh, this is doing very well sitting in my south facing windowsill and it is the only succulent that i've kept indoors but in early spring i'm going to move this outside to add it to my succulent collection hopefully it will thrive outside the more or the merrier so my 15 pounds is justified that's all next these two are carnivorous plants my husband got this for me for the halloween special he chose this as they're perfect for halloween and so far this feature is doing very well it's getting big and i have no problem with this plant at all where this one is a kind of diva i lost a few leaves already and i don't really like this plant guys i find it a yucky plant i'm so sorry i just don't like plants that eat insects seemingly you have to feed them insects to keep them happy uh, so there's no way i can do it guys there's no way and i can't remember how much we got these two for but i'm pretty sure they were under three pounds i think okay i fell in love with this succulent guys for me it looks alienish and i love the red tips this one also reminds me of shrek i don't know why maybe because of his ears and their color i just love this one i think it's really unique and i think they call this golem i think golem <laughs> because of the hobbit uh you know the movie <laughs> but anyway this one is growing fast as you can see there's new baby leaves i got this only for two pounds i think and it was so cheap so i grabbed it 
Next, this one. I really love this succulent because of the red edges. I think it's so unique. We also added this to my houseplants Halloween special. This is really nice to touch, guys. Really fussy and hairy, and I think it's growing quite fast. I just love and adore this plant. So beautiful. And I only got it this for $175, I think. So it's completely bargain, and I love this plant so much. Oh my god guys this one this was the number one on my husband's wish list i'm so glad that my husband spotted this beauty i really love their tricolor and i think they call it fish bones too i'm not really sure but i really, really love this foliage guys it's so vibrant and i find this one so easy to take care of basically it's just sitting on top of my shelf and it's still happy um in terms of watering i treat this as my calathea plants which by the way go check it out how i look after them if you haven't seen it yet i will link it in the description bar and i'm planning to do another video on how to take care of them because there was something that i forgot to mention in that video so wait for the 2.0 but anyway this plant is doing so well and i love it so so much this one i really fell in love with i was browsing on ebay and etsy for my halloween video and i saw this i didn't buy it because i wasn't sure if they were the same as the actual image so when we went to simpson's garden center i found this and i was in awe i love the orange ridge around the edges and they're quite rough to touch they have a raised texture around the leaves it's so cool i think it's so unique and very pretty and i got it for 3.99 only it's so cheap and i think this is quite a uh, fast grower uh, this baby here was so tiny before and now it's getting big I have to repot this soon so they will thrive even more um, last but not the least is my jade plant this one is so unique I love the pinky red and white variegation on their leaves it's the reason why I got this plant like I said before I'm a sucker for pink variegation and I can't resist it so here it is this plant is sitting in my beauty room to bring me good luck as they are also well known as a money plant so yeah she is so pretty and i love it that's it guys that's all my collective husband's collection for october i will keep you updated with these plants in my instagram so follow me there if you want to keep up with them and give this a house plants a thumbs up i'm sure they will appreciate it so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye